This is a bonus divination for the global community for the month of October in the year of 2022. I have already set the intention with the ancestors, asking them to bring forward any information for the month of October that might be helpful for the global community. So I'm just going to light a, a little bit of Mpepu, letting the ancestors know that we're ready to begin. So the image that the ancestors are showing, Makosi, is they're showing me you are standing there and there is a table in front of you. And on this table, there are three jars with th filled with clear liquid, they are saying. The jars are filled with clear liquid. And what the ancestors are saying is that you have spent much time working on healing your ancestral lines. Your focus is on all of the healing, all of the areas that need to be fixed or repaired, where there has been traumas. And this has been your main focus. And the ancestors are saying that you are forgetting about the resilience of your ancestors. You are forgetting about the strength of your ancestors. You are forgetting about all the gifts of your ancestors. And this is going to create an imbalance with inside of you. If you if you do not start to focus on not only the places that need to be healed, but those places with inside of yourself that are gifts from your ancestors. And so the ancestors are bringing forward these three jars full of this clear liquid and each one represents something different. And what the ancestors are asking you to do is to take the first jar. In this first jar, it is filled with hope. The ancestors are saying the hope of all of your ancestors, the hope not only for that they held within themselves for their own lifetimes, but also the hope that they have passed upon you for all that you are and all that you are becoming in this lifetime. And so they are asking you to drink out of this glass jar, allowing that liquid of hope to fill yourself, to remember those places with inside of yourself that hold all the hope of the ancestors. And so they are asking you to remember that. Remember and feel that hope with inside of yourself. Remember it. Allow it to expand out through your body as you are drinking from this glass. And they are saying, imagine yourself picking it up, drinking it down, allowing that liquid to go into every cell of your being, allowing it to awaken the hope of your ancestors that is held with inside of you. And now the ancestors are asking you to pick up the second glass, the second jar that has the clear liquid, and bring it to your mouth and start to drink it down. This jar is filled with the gratitude of the ancestors. This gratitude of the ancestors is not only the gratitude that the ancestors held with inside of themselves for all of that they had in their lifetimes, but it is also the gratitude that the ancestors hold for you in your lifetime, here and now. They want you to drink it down, allowing it to be infused in each and every cell of your being, allowing yourself to remember all the gratitude that the ancestors held for you and that they held with, for themselves in their lifetimes. 
allowing that gratitude to be reactivated with inside of yourself. And so they want you to visualize this and see yourself taking that in, absorbing it, allowing that energy to expand within every cell of your being. And now the ancestors are asking you to, to take the third jar, the third jar filled with the liquid. In this jar, they are saying, is filled with unconditional love. The unconditional love that the ancestors have for you in this lifetime. All of the unconditional love of all of your ancestors that they held with inside of themselves. They are asking you to drink from this jar, from this glass, allowing yourself to imagine this liquid going with inside of yourself, reawakening and remembering all those places with inside your ancestral lines that hold unconditional love. Imagine it going all the way down from your head to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers. Remembering all the unconditional love that the ancestors have for you. And what the ancestors are saying is that by acknowledging the gifts that you have with inside of yourself, that you carry forward in this lifetime from your ancestral realms, need to be acknowledged. They need to be remembered and they need to be embodied. If you are only fo focusing on the broken pieces within inside of your ancestral lines, then you are creating imbalance within yourself and you are not doing your ancestors justice by doing this. You must also focus on the strengths, the resilience, the hope, the gratitude, the unconditional love that your ancestors hold with inside of them and that you also hold with inside of yourself. And this is what the ancestors want you to focus on. They want you to sit and drink out of these glasses throughout the month of October, they are saying, to re-remember all of these pieces with inside of yourself. And what the ancestors are saying is additional glasses of this liquid will come to you. And they will be unique to the gifts that the ancestors bring to you through your own ancestral lines as individuals in the global community. And they want you to take those glasses that they bring forward to you, not only filled with the hope, the gratitude and the unconditional love, but remembering the other gifts. And they want you to pick up those glasses and drink from them to re-remember, reawaken, acknowledge, and appreciate all that you are because of what your ancestors have brought for you. This is the message of the ancestors in this month of October. They want you to focus on all those pieces with inside of yourself to help you stay in balance as you continue your healing journey with your ancestors. They are not asking you to stop the healing that you have been doing, and they are acknowledging and appreciating all the work that you have done up until this point. But they are just cautioning you that too much of anything out of balance it causes. So you need to also appreciate and acknowledge all of those places with inside of yourself that the ancestors have brought forward gifts to you. So remember to sit quietly and open your mind's eyes to these jars that the ancestors are bringing you and embody the hope, the gratitude, and the unconditional love and any other gifts that the ancestors are bringing forward that they want you to focus on in this month of October to help you stay in balance as we continue to shift and change throughout the rest of this year, 2022. And so when we look at the Bones Mokosi, the ancestors are showing that this is a great time of movement here. But here is... The, in the balance bone here. This is the balance bone, and this is where you are causing imbalance as you are trying to birth something new into this 
world that we are moving into, you are causing the imbalances with inside of yourself as you only focus on one part of your ancestral lines, the places that need to be healed, the places that are broken, the places where there has been trauma. And as you do that, this great opportunity to have movement forward, you are causing this imbalance that is coming in. Instead of focusing on the strength of your ancestors, instead of focusing on all of the what your ancestors bring bring forward to you. This is what the ancestors are saying. You're causing this imbalance by only focusing on those places that are broken. And this is the the bone of fear the ancestors are saying is that you're focusing on all those places that are are broken or traumatized or need to be healed instead of focusing on the strengths with inside of yourself. And what the ancestors are saying is this is causing your life path bones to be out of balance and they're going in the wrong direction if you're only focusing on this one way forward of just the healing and not of all the gifts that the ancestors are 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 wanting you to focus on. And they're saying that you have an opportunity to transform in this lifetime, but in order to do that, you need to focus on all the gifts that the ancestors are bringing. This is the heart bone and it is close to not only your life path bones and your power bones, but it is closed completely and it's separate from your life path because you're only focusing on those things that need to be healed. You are only focusing on the trauma. You are not focusing on all of the gifts that the ancestors have brought to you. And this is what the ancestors want you to remember as we go throughout this month of October, that there's a great opportunity to move forward. There's a great opportunity to transform. There's a great opportunity for you to continue that healing path with, with your ancestors, but you also must remember that by doing anything too much of one way causes the imbalance. And, and this is what, what the ancestors are saying, is that you are trying to do too much on that one side. You are trying to focus too much and, and you need to take the opportunities to see the, the good things that, that are within inside of you that the ancestors have, have brought forward for you. And this will help shift your life path back into balance. This will open your heart to your life path and, and allow you to walk forward in a more consistent way when you are in balance in what you are doing with the work with your ancestors. As you continue to have this opportunity to, to, to move forward, they are saying, and, and not just focus on, on the broken pieces, but focus on, on, on those strengths. You will begin to feel the shifts and the change, and it will help you weather the difficulties that are going to be coming up in the months, not only in the month of October, but in the months ahead. ahead. You will be focusing on the gifts as well as the healings, and then this will help you to, to stand more in fully in the strength of your ancestors by remembering all, all of you, all that they have brought to you, not only those pieces that you've brought forward to heal, but all those pieces that you possess with inside of yourself that are the gifts of the ancestors. And this is the message that the ancestors really want you to hear at this time. This is the message is that do not cause imbalance with inside of yourself by focusing only one way. They are asking you to, to Im embody these gifts, drink from these glasses that they have brought, brought in front of you, drink from them and allow them to really fill you up and remember those gifts that the ancestors allow yourself to be reactivated. You are not only here as a healer, but you have many missions in this lifetime to fulfill on many levels. So you have to be able to tap into all of your gifts and not just the healing of the ancestors. And this is the message that the ancestors want you to really focus on. As you are bringing about this time of transformation, as you are bringing about the healing of the ancestors, you are also have the gifts of the ancestors with inside of you. And each and every time that you focus on that healing, they want you to, in return, to focus on those gifts. 
And they are saying it over and over and over because they can see the pattern that is beginning to happen, the imbalance that is beginning to happen when you are only focusing on one thing. And this is what the ancestors want you to hear. This is what the ancestors want you to focus on, to take those glasses, really sit with them and allow yourself to feel them. Allow yourself to re-remember. Just going to light a little bit of an pebu, thanking the ancestors for the message that has come through today. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, great ones, for coming forward today, allowing us to hear your message of balance, allowing us to re-remember all the gifts that you are bringing to us, to not only focus on the places that are broken, but to focus on all of those places within inside of ourselves that is right, the gifts that we have that we hold within inside of ourselves. And we thank you, ancestors, each and every day for loving us unconditionally and helping to guide us on our path. Look close.